coming up on Cedar Valley today, filming fun. Students have three weeks to make a short film. We take a look at what happens F1, when the camera stops rolling. And moving out green, we find out how Warburg College students move out more sustainably. Get a $4 million gift. Warburg College receives a gift to be used for a scholarship for an incoming student studying chemistry. This is Cedar Valley Today. Good morning and welcome to Cedar Valley Today. I'm Melissa Kozak. Iowa's egg industry is scrambling to avoid the avian flu. According to Business Monthly, wild birds brought the avian flu into Iowa and the containment process has been a struggle. If the reported cases are true, 25 million birds will be euthanized and the number one egg producing industry will take a severe hit. However, the flu is not a threat to human consumers. The Cedar Falls Public Library introduced their new art project Thursday. This month, the Cedar Falls Public Library partnered with the Grin City Collective Artist and Writers Residency to bring the, in Brooklyn poet Pervy Shaw. Her work will be displayed in the teen room on one of the windows. The window was chosen so that the display could be placed in toward the library and out toward the road. These poems are site specific, which means that they were created for this site and really created based on the conversations that I had with everyone. So I'm hoping that folks will enjoy it and that they will be able to um, see language and literature as a part of their everyday experience of um, the library and everyday encounter with art in our everyday lives. Warburg College has recently been given a $4 million donation from the Ralph Otto Trust Fund. This is the largest individual gift that the college has ever received in its 163-year history. This gift is intended to be used as a scholarship for an incoming student studying chemistry while at Warburg. Scott Lysander, the Vice President for Institutional Advancement, says that this scholarship is meant to highlight students' academic accomplishments. The idea there, uh, Ralph very much wanted to um, incentivize and recognize academic excellence, and so uh, not only will be the not only will the amount of the scholarship be uh, pretty significant, but also what it represents in regards to uh, lifting up the top incoming academic student in chemistry each year at Warburg College. With the school year winding down, college students are beginning to move out of their residence halls. Warburg College is making it a little easier for their students to move out green. Throughout campus, the residence halls are placing drop-off signs for students to put big items they don't want or need anymore. In the residence halls, there are donation stations for smaller items such as clothing, toiletries, and food. Environmental Sustainability Coordinator Ann Duncan says the best way to move out green is for students to reduce their waste. The biggest benefit for the college and for the students is the cost. Uh, we have to pay a significant amount of money to throw materials away every year. Before we had an effort during move out, we used to order three six cubic yard dumpsters, or maybe eight cubic yard dumpsters a year, and now we're down to one, maybe two. Um, so we've already done a big effort to reduce after the break, we will take a look at the weather forecast. Are you a high school senior passionate about becoming a writer, producer, editor, or even a cinematographer? Warburg College's Department of Journalism and Communication wants students like you to join our award-winning creative community. We've created a digital cinema and production program centered on real-world experiences with the goal of helping you master digital skills in video, audio, and live production. You'll have the opportunity to work in our digital production control room, live recording studios, and have access to our full line of digital cinema gear. This program is designed for digital creatives who want to explore areas such as screenwriting, producing and directing, digital cinematography and lighting design, music production and digital audio recording, live video production and streaming. We're committed to training the next generation of digital storytellers. For more information about Warburg's Department of Journalism and Communication, find us online and on Facebook. And good morning, I'm Michael Benson. 
Today is going to be beautiful, but until 10 a.m., we're going to have a lot of fog. We're going to have a high of 75 today and a low of 65. And later on, after 9 p.m., you can expect showers. Now bring out your coat. Looking at national highs, the warm front has hit the East Coast. You have a high of 75 in New York, 76 in DC, 86 in Miami. Moving on to the West Coast, well, five day forecast then. Uh, this weekend is going to be warm. However, there is a good chance we can expect thunderstorms. So bring out your coat if you haven't already. Um, moving on to the work week, Monday through Wednesday, uh, things are starting to get colder. Monday is going to be very windy. And that's what our five day forecast looks like. Thank you. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. What makes something worth it? Going beyond routines, take a journey of discovery. It's so worth it. Finding the key to unlock your potential. Absolutely worth it. Working hard to gain something of greater value. I'm worth it. You know what else is worth it? You, you are worth it. It's worth it. So be orange at Warburg College. The wreckage of a U.S. military helicopter missing in Nepal has been found on the slopes of a mountain east of Kathmandu. Three bodies have been found at the site, according to Nepal's defense secretary. He said the wreckage was burned. The Pentagon says the helicopter had six U.S. Marines and two Nepali service members aboard when it lost contact Tuesday. Radio transmissions indicated its crew was having some type of fuel problem before it went missing. New England Patriots star quarterback Tom Brady has appealed his four-game suspension over Deflategate. Several reports say Brady will be represented by Jeffrey Kessler. The Boston Herald calls the attorney the NFL's worst enemy. Kessler has helped overturn penalties for trouble players, including Ray Rice and Adrian Peterson. Despite the brewing showdown, the Patriots are standing by their quarterback, calling the discipline one-sided. Thieves are stealing money from people's credit cards, bank, and PayPal accounts by first tapping into their Starbucks mobile app. Starbucks acknowledged this week that criminals have been breaking into individual customer reward accounts. Starbucks told CNN the company has not been hacked and it didn't lose customer data. The company said these account takeovers are likely due to weak customer passwords. The Starbucks app lets you pay at checkout with your phone. We'll be back in one minute. Stay with us. What's next for your future? Will it be worth it? Will it lead you on a journey of discovery? To embrace your passions. Unlock your potential. And realize your purpose. With Warburg, you can. And you will, because you are worth it. Warburg, worth it. Schedule your campus visit and learn how Warburg is worth it at warburg.edu slash worth it. What makes something worth it? Going beyond routines, take a journey of discovery. It's so worth it. Finding the key to unlock your potential. Absolutely worth it. Working hard to gain something of greater value. I'm worth it. You know what else is worth it? You, you are worth it. It's, it's worth, worth it. it. So be orange at Warburg College. This May term, Warburg students have the opportunity to write, produce, and showcase short films. Cedar Valley Today's Lucas Wendland has more on the unique class. Over the past three years, Warburg's short film class has grown from five students to 15 with continuing interest. You know, the class has really grown and it's a very popular class and, and I enjoy teaching it. It's one of my favorite classes to teach because instead of being in the classroom, I'm out on set with the students, which is one of my favorite things to do. 
The class only has three weeks to write, produce, and shoot a film before showing it on the big screen at the end of the term. To help students get started, Professor Bakkenstead encourages brainstorming. So what I try to do to get the class started is just plant a little seed. So they're like plant an idea for each group, but each group took the small idea I planted and made it their own. Senior Brady Van Sickle says the timing of the class has been the biggest challenge of the whole assignment, but he says it is a great experience. It's kind of exhilarating in a way and it kind of gives you a really good taste of what the real world's gonna be like, but it's a lot more stress than I've had in the previous classes just because the time, time frame is just so short. This year, the class is producing three dramas. One is a coming of age film where a young woman struggles with, through personal issues in life. The next film highlights the LGBTQ issues with sports. And lastly, the third film tackles racial tension and violence in Waterloo, Iowa. Each film has their own strong message, but the third film hopes to get the younger audience to think differently about their community. A film that's reflective of some of the the, the news stories and, and the situations that are happening in downtown Waterloo and the hope is that a youth audience will watch it and sort of you know think about their community a little bit. The classes during Wartburg's May term are normally viewed to be relaxing with more free time. However, for this class, students think of it as a preparation for senior capstone. It's play term in a sense of you get to have fun shooting all May term and editing but it's not a play term in a sense that some of these students have spent, you know, pulled eight hour days of just writing, or maybe they've been out shooting for six hours and then they go back in the edit bay and edit another six hours. Students put in a lot of time and energy to make these films high quality, especially on a three week schedule. Reporting for Cedar Valley Today, I'm Lucas Wendland. Now the premiere of these short films will be on Wednesday, May 20th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the Palace Theater in Waverly with free admission. Afterwards, there will be a meet and greet with the producers of each film. Many students who are taking the short films class are also taking part in a new Warburg major here at Warburg, Digital Cinema and Production. Join us now as Travis Spock instead, the advisor for the new program. Thank you for coming today. Thanks for having me on this morning. So can you just tell us what is this new major and how does it differ from the mass communication that we already had? Well we've uh, traditionally done really well in public relations and multimedia journalism and there really wasn't a home for students who wanted to do production. So we decided to bring a third concentration into the department um, and digital cinema and production was just a great fit for us. Right, and what will the students be focusing on with this new program? Uh, it's a program where we're going to do two things. Uh, number one, we're going to make sure we prepare students for jobs in the production industry. So we're looking at jobs at production houses, um, agencies, and possibly even companies that have their own internal production um, uh, houses inside their own companies. The other thing we're going to prepare students for is to be part of a local creative community. I want students to be able to, you know, to work in a larger community and if they want to join the, uh, the film scene on the side, we want them to have the tools and know how to do that. And for students looking to enter this program, what can they do? How do they get entered? And what are they expecting? Well, first of all, I, I think if you talk to any first year in the Department of Journalism and Communication, they'll tell you that they got involved day one. Most of them probably the first week they got here. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you remember that. And so it's going to be a hands-on major. Um, they're going to learn how to shoot on DSLR cameras. They're going to learn advanced lighting and sound. And it's going to be a really comprehensive program. And we're also partnering with the English department to do the writing, screenwriting side of it. Wow, that sounds exciting. It, it, it's super exciting. I think you can tell from that package there that we're, we're going to work the students really hard. They're going to get a lot of hands-on experience. And um, it, it, that, that story was a great example of a lot of the hands-on um, work the students will get to do. Yeah, well, that's exciting. I'm glad we are updating our journalism over here. For more information on the new digital cinema and production major, visit www.warburg.edu. Thanks for watching Cedar Valley today. This is our last show for this school year. So thank you for tuning in and we will see you in September. Have a great summer, Cedar Valley.